Hey everyone, let's create this double exposure step by step together. So I already have three photos right there. The first one is called subject, second one is top, and the third one is called bottom. For the first step, I'm going to combine bottom and top one together. So I'm going to drag and drop it to top document. Now I need to decrease opacity of this layer to 50%. So I'm going to the layers panel and decrease the opacity to 50%. Go to the background layer, activate it and press Ctrl or Command J. So we already have a copy of our background layer and turn off the invisibility of background layer. Press Ctrl or Command T and adjust it and move it to this area like this. Press Enter. Now go back to the layer 1, activate it and press Ctrl or Command T and do the same. We need to adjust the size and position. So I'm going to press Ctrl T. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and do the process. Okay, after you've done, right click and choose rotate 180 degrees and change its position like this. Now press enter and increase the opacity to 100%. Now we need to make a mask on our layer 1. So make sure it's activated and just simply go to this icon and create a layer mask. Go to the toolbar and choose gradient tool and from the option bar click on this bar so we already have gradient editor panel i'm gonna move it right there choose basics and make sure the first one is activated which is black to white gradient press ok and move your pointer right here and simply left click and leave it right there now after you've done, you need to make a smart object from both of the layers. So go to the layers panel and choose the first one, layer 1. Press Ctrl or Command and choose the background copy layer. Right click and convert it to smart object. Now take the move tool and drag and drop it to subject document. Now press Ctrl or Command T and we need to adjust the size and position. After you're done, press enter. Go to the layers panel and change the blending mode from normal to screen. Now we need to clear unwanted areas like this guys. As you can see, we have some unwanted areas. So make sure the layer one or your smart object is already activated and add a layer mask like this. Take your brush, make sure the foreground color is black because we are already working on a white mask. Make sure the mask is activated and start to brushing like this. After you're done with brushing, go to the layers panel, go to the adjustment layer and choose brightness contrast adjustment go to the properties and i'm gonna set it to 45 and for the contrast i'm gonna put it to 35 and pressing ok go to the adjustment layer again and this time choose color lookup from the properties choose fall colors dot look now we need another color lookup adjustment so again go to the layers panel go to the adjustment layer and choose color lookup and this time from properties choose the tension green dot 3 dl and of course it's too much we need to decrease the opacity before that make sure the color lookup number two which is the tension is selected and change the blending mode from normal to soft light and go to the opacity and decrease to like 20 to 30 it just depends on you and the photos you're working on it now this time we need a hue saturation adjustment so go to the adjustment layer and choose hue saturation adjustment from the properties i'm gonna change the hue to minus five 
take a look at before and after it's actually fine now it's time to merge all the layers in a non-destructive way so make sure the topmost layer is activated and press Control or command alt shift and e now go to the filter and choose camera raw filter from the basic part i'm just gonna touch the temperature a little bit like four or six is fine and go to let me put it right there and go to the effects and increase grain like 10 or 30 like this press ok and there you go my friend much appreciated for your support and i'll see you in the next video